Hey everyone, so today I will be talking about a game I've been wanting to talk about. Uh, Bowtie, where's the has been hotel video? Good question, that video will- wait, who are you? Uh, okay, bye. Anyways, the has been hotel video needs a bit more time since there's a lot to talk about. So, that'll be the next video hopefully, but for now, that's not what we're gonna talk about. Today, we'll be talking about a game that has released a little while ago. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a bit now, and today, we'll be talking about the game, Buckshot Roulette. Before we actually talk about this game, I'm gonna talk about how I first found it. So, the story begins all the way back in February, where I was up late one night and I finished binge-watching Emesis Blue for the second time, and I decided to go through my YouTube recommendations where all the good videos are. Mostly. And the first video that popped up was a video by Markiplier. I haven't watched the guy since 2019, so I don't know why YouTube decided to recommend him out of all people. The video was him playing a new game. A game I haven't heard of yet. I think you already know where this is going. The video was about Buckshot Roulette. As soon as I saw the thumbnail, I knew it would be something interesting, and it indeed was. I was immediately hooked and I decided to look through more of the game and its lore. In today's video, we're going to discuss how the game works, the lore, and then we just got to wrap it up. There's nothing really much to talk about. So, the game is really simple to understand actually. You basically start in a bathroom and you make your way onto a balcony where a party is happening and there's some guy who's smoking a cigarette. You make your way into a room with a character known as the dealer. The dealer is someone you're gonna be fighting against in the game. He gives you a waiver, and you get to put your name in it. You can put whatever you want in it, but with a certain amount of letters. Then the game begins, giving the player a 12 gauge shotgun. In the round, there will be a few blanks and a few lives. The order that these are in are random every single time, so I don't think they're gonna be in the same order each time. Along with this, there are items, but they get introduced later into the game. But we're going to talk about them right now. The first of these are beers. After downing a can of beer, you eject the current shell in the shotgun's chamber. You can also use multiple beers in a row to help you empty the chamber. Although, don't try drinking 15 gallons of beer in real life. You'll probably die. Next, inverter. The inverter is a consumable item in Buckshot Roulette that changes the type of round currently chambered into the shotgun. It is only available in the double or nothing mode. Oh, I just spoiled a mode for you. Whoops! Next, Adrenaline. The Adrenaline is a consumable item in Buckshot Roulette that allows you to take an item from the dealer. Like the Inverter, this is only in the double or nothing mode. Next up, Burner Phone. Upon using it, the player will be told a location in the type of random shell loaded into the shotgun, only if there are two or more shells left in the chamber. Also, the phone will tell you the location based on the current shell. So, if the burner phone says second shell, it means it's the next shell after the current one. Okay, I'm gonna start talking about these items at a quick pace so we can get this video over and done with pretty soon. Expired Medicine Upon use, the player has a 50% chance of regaining two charges and a 50% chance of losing one. Prior to update 1.2.1, Expired Medicine had a 40% chance of giving two charges and a 60% chance of taking one. Cigarettes. The cigarette pack is necessary throughout the entire game. Use this if you ever lose a life and always have a cigarette pack at your disposal. Handsaw. Saw the shotgun and have to deal double the damage for one turn. If successful, the dealer will lose two lives instead of one with a single shotgun bullet. Magnifying Glass. Upon use, the user will see what type of round is currently in the shotgun's chamber. Finally, Handcuffs. Upon use, the opposing player will skip their next turn. It's that simple. Okay, now onto the modes. First is Story Mode. It's nothing unique, it's just normal gameplay. Double or Nothing Mode. It's essentially the same as Story Mode, however, successfully completing a set of stages instead shows the player's currently acquired winnings. Presenting the option to either A, play another set for double this amount, and if the player accepts, another set begins, or decline the offer. If the player declines, the results are shown, and you get the amount you get. So basically, if you keep going, double or nothing is essentially an endless mode. Alrighty, that's enough of gameplay. Now on to the story. And trust me, the story for this game is very short and simple. 
The story and lore for Buckshot Roulette revolves around a seedy nightclub, where in a back room, the player down on their luck and in need of money agrees to play a game with an entity known as the Dealer. However, succeeding at this game, according to the waiver you sign before playing, reveals that success will net the player $10,000. And as you could see when you beat the game, there is $10,000 right there in the briefcase and that's kind of it. The lore is very simple, but the game is very cool. So, you may be asking now, is the game worth the $2 asking price? I'd say yeah, the game is very fun and engaging. And the person who made this, Mike Klubnika, I really hope I'm saying his last name right to be honest, is really talented and he's the same person who made Iron Lung. So I hope you continue your game making career and find success. I have been Bowtie and I'll see you guys next time.